According to a popular TV series, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. However, there are sunnier places on Earth. The city of Yuma in the US boasts the title of one of the sunniest places globally, with 90% of sunny days a year. That's why the locals might appreciate this DIY cloud ceiling with lightning. It's easy to make using basic materials like polyester or polypropylene. You may find some inside a duvet. And two LED strips, totaling 10 meters. These strips emit a brightness of 6,000 lumens and last for about 50,000 hours. You can attach them using glue, tape, or a stapler. Moving to a new home involves handling a lot of boxes, requiring both physical effort and clever solutions. The craftsman in the video faced a challenge when finding storage space above his garage in his new house. He and his son devised a garage elevator, powered by a 1.4 horsepower engine. This system effortlessly lifts and lowers loads weighing around 250 kilograms, which is perfect considering the potential strain on the rafters, which had never experienced such a pressure before. An added safety feature is the emergency braking system. This bed would fit right into David Blaine's apartment, as it looks like it's floating in the air. You don't need magic skills to make your own version of this bed, though. The trick is simple. The support is just much smaller than the bed. You'll only notice it if you look under the bed. Adding backlighting makes it look even cooler and guarantees your guests will be impressed. These projects are doable even on a modest budget. For instance, the creator of this bed bought the boards for $12 each, while the 5-meter LED strip along with a remote control cost him $30. Discover fresh uses for old tires. Once shredded, they enhance the strength of recycled concrete. Tires can also produce freeze-resistant fuel for temperatures as low as minus 52 degrees Celsius, and creative DIY enthusiasts on YouTube present tire furniture. Take this light-up tire table, a great gift for car owners or enthusiasts. If you're interested, the same channel showcases a planter, a doghouse, and even a water fountain made of tires. If you have a pond, perhaps with koi carp, consider adding these effective filters. Even homemade ones do the job well. The creator of this model shares that it cost him around $250 and is suitable for ponds up to 10,000 liters. Filter fillers are available on Amazon. You can buy a bag of 300 bio balls for around $25, and you can find a suitable barrel at most hardware stores. Another DIY option provides fish with added comfort, featuring a water pretreatment system and a 61 by 122 centimeter glass window. Since we're talking about levitation, let's take a look at this unconventional fountain that anyone can make. You'll need a bucket or another container, stones, pebbles will do, a submersible pump, a faucet, and a rigid clear acrylic tube. The one in the video is about 50 centimeters long with a 20 millimeter outer diameter. You can find detailed instructions with photos and a video guide on creativityhero.com. The final piece looks impressively cool, fitting even on a store shelf. 
It's beautiful, fun, and offers room for upgrades, such as adding LED strips for extra flair. A cozy evening by the fire is a wonderful reason to set aside your gadgets and relish nature for a bit. Here's the catch. Off-the-shelf fire pit kits can strain your budget, easily surpassing $1,000. Many opt for the DIY route, capturing their efforts in videos that garner thousands of views. Making a fire pit might appear straightforward, yet it's easy to overlook drainage, ducting, and handling leftover soil in the midst of the building excitement. The pit's final diameter is about 1.5 meters, with a depth of around 60 centimeters. And thanks to diligent supervision from the foreman dog, the result is both durable and aesthetically pleasing. You can also easily create something interesting for your backyard. Ever thought of combining a pergola with a hammock and a projector screen? The whole project cost around $300, equivalent to 50 coffees in Starbucks. The creators generously shared a list of materials and aimed to inspire others. They've even made step-by-step -step instructions, captured in two clips lasting seven minutes in total, which means that it should be easy. The hammock can hold up to 204 kilograms, perfect for relaxing together after working on the setup. Are your porch and stairs looking worn? Reach out to this expert who created a series of videos turning a wooden beast into a stunning beauty, worthy of a show like Extreme Home Makeover. From picking the right lumber to avoiding common mistakes, the creator delves deep into the topic. The effort was so thorough that the humble view count seems unfair. The project, by the way, comes from Canada, where construction knowledge is abundant. Take, for example, this Canadian house made of 600,000 recycled plastic bottles. Plus, this expert takes custom orders, surely making many Canadians happy. Now it's time for a guitar storage masterclass. This Epiphone guitar now resides in a splendid illuminated display case. The reason? This guitar was signed by Linkin Park. The creator poured their heart into creating the case, employing a Japanese woodworking technique called Shusugi Ban, which involves charring the wood with open fire. Traditionally, three boards are formed into a triangle, stuffed with straw and set alight for a quick three minutes. Nowadays, it can be done with a blowtorch, and the result is equally stunning. This craftsman has quite the knack for creating swings. He made this one for his neighbor. The material itself is notable, it's eastern red cedar. By the way, this tree is often used as Christmas trees in some US states. Plus, a comprehensive assembly guide for the swing costs just $20. In the video, the craftsman covers all the key steps and even offers reminders about some basic rules at the sawmill. And this swing is part of a charitable effort for the St. Jude Dream Home Giveaway. This program supports children with cancer and their families by providing assistance with housing, food, travel expenses, and more. Notably, the swing incorporates clever features like springs for better shock absorption and robust chains capable of handling up to 363 kilograms of weight. The Netherlands isn't just known for cycling, it's also into cool tech. In 2017, a one kilometer long road was built in that country using toilet paper. The main ingredient, cellulose, comes from the filtration system's waste. 
It's so effective that the excess is sent to the UK for biocomposite production. Given the country's leadership in plastic packaging recycling last year in the EU, this local project doesn't come as a surprise. Even garbage disposal is now high-tech and hygienic. There are extra bags available too. The whole setup costs about $182. Artificial turf has gained popularity too. Contractors have seen sales rise by around 30% since 2020. Even FIFA approves. Over half of artificial turf laid in 2020 was on sports grounds. It's also fitting for your front yard. The lawn appears natural, concealing soil imperfections, and it doesn't require watering. Installation's really simple. This video consists of four simple steps using basic tools like shovels and utility knives. And the cost is attractive too. A 5 by one8 meter roll of turf for recreational activities is priced at $50. I have finally turned my manual sliding gate into an automated gate, shares the creator of this video. The gate, weighing around 250 kilograms and spanning 4.5 meters, now opens in a little over a minute. It can be controlled with a remote control from up to 40 meters or with a button. When we bought our house, the side of our deck was overrun with ivy. We had landscapers cut back all the ivy, revealing a space that was a blank canvas with loads of potential. These people explain in the description of the video. The project began to take form when their neighbors provided this lattice. All that remained was treating, cutting, and assembling the pieces. The climbing roses now have a sturdy structure for support, with certain varieties reaching heights of up to 3 meters. 